So, today, I want to do something pretty unique. In today's video, I want to visually show you how Minecraft generates its terrain using four separate mods, each of which show you a different phase of Minecraft's world generation, starting with the stone-only noise map and working our way to the foliage-filled world that we ultimately see with Minecraft. Unless you've given it a decent amount of thought, you might not be aware that the game actually generates one thing at a time, but very, very quickly. And after spending weeks of trying to figure out how to make the mods required for this video, I caved and asked a friend of the channel, Lukavon, to help me out on this quest. And he had all four mods done within just a few hours. What a boss. So with all of the pre-work done, let's go ahead and let's get right into it. All right, so if you've ever heard me use the term 3D Perlin noise in previous videos that I'll have linked above, then what you're about to see on screen is a visual representation of it in action. When Minecraft generates its terrain, it first starts out with a noise map, which forms the shape of all of the terrain, including hills, valleys, oceans, and rivers. Within Minecraft, this comes in the shape of a world made entirely of stone and water. At this point, no caves of any kind have been generated. One other thing that has been generated, however, are all of the oceans and rivers, which generate on any vacant blocks with a Y value of 64 or less. As you can see, this forms the foundation for Minecraft's terrain. Beyond this point, more terrain elements will begin to generate. After the stone and water noise map are generated, the primary surface of the world itself is formed. And while I originally thought that blocks like dirt, grass, and sand would generate on top of the top layers of the stone noise map, they actually overwrite the stone itself, but without any trees, caves, or foliage. However, caves aren't far behind in the code, actually generating immediately after the surface of the world completely forms. You might notice at this point, however, that ores like traditional ores along with diorite, andesite, and granite don't generate just yet, and that makes sense. If the ores generated before caves did, that could potentially take up a lot more computer power than would be necessary. But as you might expect, however, all ores generate immediately after the cave systems do. So, all right, we now have the overworld without any foliage, and we have cave systems with all of the underlying ores. After all of these terrain elements are formed, Minecraft adds all of the world's decorations. This includes things like trees, tall grass, flowers, and as well structures like the pyramids, jungle temples, ocean monuments, and everything in between. At this point, we are now playing the full and complete version of Minecraft. Obviously, I don't need to provide a mod for this stage of world generation, as everything is now completely done. However, in the description below, I have included the four mods that Lukavon has created for this video. The mod that causes only the stone and water noise map to form. The mod that only has the surface with no foliage or caves at all. The mod that has caves but no ores. And finally, the mod that has all ores but no overworld foliage. Beyond that is Minecraft release version 1.12. While I do plan on making more Breaking Minecraft videos as soon as I come up with some really solid ideas, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought of this kind of video, since it is kind of much different from the majority of the videos that I've been doing. And if you did enjoy this video, then please consider leaving a like on it, because it would really help out myself, the channel, and the video quite a lot. So I hope you all enjoyed. My name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.